Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Claris XT10. I'm really excited about this light. It's one of the best implementations of a tactical flashlight that I've seen. Uh, so let's open it up, show you what you get on the inside. Pull the light out of the packaging. You have your instructions, warranty kind of information in there. Here's the light itself. Let's pull it out, set it to the side. Here's the holster. Let's pop that open, show you what you get on the inside. Standard accessory kind of stuff, uh, the anti-roll or tactical grip ring. Pull that out and show it to you. Spare O-rings in there, uh, lanyard, removable clip, so you can put the clip on there if you do want to have a pocket clip. It just pops on right there. And then the ring, if you take the tail cap off, you can attach this right there. And then that'll do a couple of things. Like I said, it'll do anti-roll, so if you have it on a, a flat surface, it's not going to roll around on you and also it's meant to have a combat grip kind of feel on there but I don't want those things on there for right now because I want to be able to show you the machining and anodizing and everything so we're going to pop them off set them to the side for just a second got that other stuff out of the way here's the light and the holster light slides into the holster like this really nice holster really well made good stitching good nylon on it and everything attachment here you can uh, attach it using a carabiner or whatever to your pack. You also have the belt attachment here, um, or you can attach it to anything else using that. I still have it open on the bottom, so you can still activate it when it's actually in the sheath. Quick and easy to remove, and it covers up the bezel and the lens, which is nice. All right, so let's take a look at the light itself. Zoom in on that a little bit, just so you can see the details of it. As you can see, good machining, great anodizing on it. There is that Cree XML LED down in there. Decent sized reflector. This definitely is not going to be a super thrower like some of our other lights. You are going to get a pretty solid distance, but this is made more to light everything up in front of you with that uh, big XML LED. Switches on the back. This one actually has two switches. So this one is your main switch. This is going to give you the momentary activation and power the light on. And this is going to be your mode changer and it's going to activate strobe uh, regardless of which mode you're on. But we'll show you all that in just a second. You can see the details of it a little bit better. Really nice styling on this one. Batteries in operation. This one, like most of the lights at size, will take either one rechargeable lithium-ion 18650 or two CR123s. We're going to stick an 18650 in there. Let's open the back up, show you the inside of that. You can see the inside. Stick the battery down in there. Close it back up and show you the operation of the light. So, two switches. Big one here, again, main switch. Lightly press it. You have your momentary activation. Click it all the way, constant on. This one does have multiple modes. It does not have a memory. Again, this was designed with the tactical user in mind, so military and law enforcement. Always want to have reliable operation. Always want to be able to go into max output from off. So when you need the max output, it's there. Secondary switch, lightly press it, it'll switch between the different outputs. So you can see three different outputs on there that you have to choose between. And when it's on, if you press and hold that secondary switch, it is going to go into the strobe for you. You can see it's got one of the variable output strobes or variable uh, frequency strobes. And then tap it again and you're back into the regular, regular uh, illumination modes. And then from off, you can also instantly access the strobe. So hit that secondary switch and it's going to instantly go into strobe. Really great interface. So from off, you always have access to your max output and strobe. And the switches are very distinct in the dark. Uh, even when you're not looking at the light, it's really easy to tell which switch is which. You can see the main one is actually raised up from the other one a little bit. So if you're just hitting it, you're always going to be hitting that main switch. You can just drop your thumb down or finger, whatever you're using to press it, to get that secondary switch. Really well designed switch, really well designed interface. All right, let's go ahead and take this outside, and we're going to see how this does outside. Here's the X-T10. We're going to be comparing it to the big 4D mag light that I always use. So let's give that mag light a shot first. There's a tree about 100 feet away, bush about 15 feet away. Zoom in on that tree so you can just get a better idea of how it does at a distance. Not all that great. You see the beam quality is pretty bad. Standard mag light. Alright, let's try out the X-T10, see how it does. And since it defaults to high, when you first turn it on, there's your high. There you go, there's Argo wandering around. 
And I've said this in previous videos, this is something that I've, I've brought up before, but as you notice with the mag light, when I was shining out there, I didn't see him. So the nice thing about these brighter, more modern LED lights is that not only what you're pointing at, um, that's not the only thing that's going to be lit up, everything around it is going to be lit up pretty well as well. So I mean, that tree out at 100 feet lit up no problem, obviously, and then everything around it is lit up really well as well. Obviously 15 feet, no problem. Cycle through the different settings real quick. Here's your medium. You see, still get pretty good distance on that. And there's your low. On the little bush, it actually does okay. I can see the bush, most of the details out there, 15 feet pretty well. Just to show you that it is on. And just for kicks, there's your strobe. There's that max output again. I'll shine it around a little bit. So, the X-T10 is not really meant to be a thrower. It's meant more to light up everything in front of you, but it does actually throw pretty well. So you're going to be able to go out to 100 yards pretty easily. So this is the distance shot. Let's try out the mag light first, see how it does. There's my house, about 50 yards away. Tree in the front yard at 100 yards. Mag light doesn't really go out to the tree. Let's try out the X-T10, see how it does. You see a whole lot more light, lights up the house at 50 yards really, really well. And even in the front yard, 100 yards. Um, that big XML LED needs a pretty decent sized reflector, um, like in the Olight M3X or the other similar lights, to get real throw out of it. But as you can see, at 100 yards, you can still make out all the details really well. So pretty good throw on this, even though that's not necessarily what it's meant to do. If you need to do a distance up to 100 yards or a little bit beyond that, it actually does okay. Shine it around a little bit. So you can get a different idea of how it does, the different distances, different colors and stuff. If you wonder what that crap flying through the air is, it's uh, pollen. <laughs> so if I keel over and die in the middle of the video from my allergies, hopefully someone else will upload this for me. So there you go. That is the Claris X-T10. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com.